I love swim days. You get out of the gym, get out of the, the normal routine, get outside in the sun, blow your lungs out without getting punched in the face. They're just a, a great way to mix stuff up outside the gym. Okay, ready? Take a deep breath, I'm gonna go under and I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna take one deep breath, go back under, and just hold it as long as I can. And basically all I'm doing is just getting used to the feeling of overexertion almost. Lack of oxygen to the muscles. Each time I've done it, two minutes. I've gotten better and better. So hopefully this time we break 230. He's killing it. 240. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> That's good. That guy we call my friend Vasil, Dr. Payne. He's Rubs me out and stretches me as well. He's very Thank knowledgeable you, about the body. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely effective. I mean, flexibility's gone through the roof. Like, I have a solid team. Ah, feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Worked out a little light yesterday. Got a good sweat going in. Now I'm just fine tuning, blowing out my lungs, and getting ready to head to Vegas. Nice, nice. Good ones, good ones. It's just business as usual. Just going back to what got me this title just hard work, learning, and trying to get better every day. Fight the luck, fight the luck, Rob. We didn't train different, we just stepped it up another notch. That was what we've been doing since I've come down to American Top Team, my coach Kami, just every fight, step it up another notch and uh, try to get better every day. Pop it, pop it, turn, nice, nice. Rory's a heck of an opponent. God. Finely tuned athlete, but I need to go out there and dictate and get in his face and beat him up. <laughs> Coming down to the final bit of uh, the weight cut. So I'm just eating uh, chicken breast, probably some vegetables, and maybe a fat like avocado or something like that. The diet's important because uh, I have to lose the weight in the healthiest way possible. So now we wait. Fighting the best in the world is something that inspires me and makes me hungry. It's been a great training. You know, I feel mentally ready and physically ready. I'm sure it's gonna be the hardest fight of my life and I've never been more ready. I've been lucky enough to train side by side with one of the greatest of all time, George St. Pierre. So he was a big inspiration for me. And just watching a lot of the great champions over the years. Hey Faraz, it's Rory. You uh, wanna hit some pads right now at the gym? Okay, George, do your way. You don't just do this on the weekend, you know, this is something you do your entire life from a young age. You know, you can pursue this martial arts, there's always more learning for your entire life. You know, you never get too good. There's always more and more to do. You want to have the right amount of confidence and fear. You go in there like it's your last day on earth, it's the last fight you're ever going to have. And you don't underestimate him, you don't fear him. Find the right balance, you know, keep it sharp. I'm gonna have Conor McGregor give you a pep talk right before the fight. I'm gonna pay him $100,000 for a pep talk. <laughs> How epic would his pep talk be? It's gonna be like having Braveheart in your locker room. <laughs> Boy, no, this is where I came from, yeah? I'm representing the family. <laughs> Make me a copy. <laughs> That's a fucking spirit and a half, yeah? Dude. He's never fought anybody that's an athlete like you. Yeah, I think I think he can fucking break him, dude. Okay. 
I think he's gonna break, dude. Close the distance and knock his fucking head off, dude. Right, I'm fucking excited pump. for you, dude. Pump, pump for you, dude. Woo! He's gonna beat the fuck out of you. Where you at, McGregor? Where you at? <laughs> McMuffin. Where you at, McMuffin? We're about to uh, watch some tape on my opponent, Connor. You know, basically what I do is I kind of look for tendencies, stuff that they love to do. Ooh, Ooh shit. Drop them there with that kick. That's it, that's it again. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the best one right there. See, this is a pace that's super slow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, you can do that pace all day. It's not going to do any damage to you. Yeah. Look for mistakes that they repeat. And then that's basically what you can make your game plan on. <laughs> Ooh, popping good there. And he's a top ten fighter. He just doesn't have the power, you know? Yeah. He knows just enough wrestling mm -hmm. to get himself in trouble. <laughs> exactly. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. so. Alright, okay. well, time is up. We know we got World champs here, baby! Woo!